I feel unstable. Everything that is happening in the world now shows that the world is fragile as glass. And these days, while war is happening in my country, I feel fear of everything. Hi, my name is Sitara Ambrosio. I am a photojournalist based in northern Germany. This is the campaign for my first photo book and a project I put heart and soul into for the last two years. Fragile as Glass is a long-term photographic essay following different queer realities in Ukraine. From birthday parties in the rest of the country to Kiev Pride activities in the capital to the relatives who still live near the front line in the southeast. From everyday challenges to intimate moments, the long-term project creates space for images and thoughts that are often lost in war scenarios. Now, the stories of the protagonists receive an appropriate representation in a photo book. Even though experiencing your first war when you're young is hard, but experiencing it while you're queer is harder because people doesn't seem to notice you. My name is Ihor and uh, I'm a documentary character of Sitara Talia Ambrosio's upcoming book Fragile as Glass. What this book does is telling our stories, giving people evidence that we are here. My name is Edward Rees. I work for Kyiv Pride and speaking to you from Kyiv, Ukraine. I'm one of the participants of Sitara Ambrosio's book Fragile Eye Glass and uh, I'm very happy to be there because it's extremely important to speak about Ukrainian people, to speak about lives of Ukrainians and speak about lives of queer Ukrainians. We are important and speaking about us is extremely important. Now the photos are edited. I sewed together a dummy and I won't be ready for further production. For layout, production and printing, additional money is needed. Make a stories heard. It will be very important. Please support this. I'm asking you to stand with Ukraine, to continue supporting Ukraine in any way that you can. Here, and we're real. By supporting this campaign, you help us to shine light on the situation of LGBTIQ people in the war-torn country. Thanks for sharing and your support.